In Creole Parametric, you can use the export from workspace functionality to download files from Windchill to a local directory. Let me show you how to do that. Here I am in a Windchill connected Creole Parametric session. Right now I'm looking at my home page and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new workspace for this operation. I recommend, hey, new task, new workspace. It's a great way of avoiding problems. To create a new workspace, you can go to the file menu and then manage session and server management. This is a command that I use so often. I have it in my quick access toolbar. And from the server management dialog box, we can go to workspace and then new. Now I'm going to give it a name. I like to use the date so I know how old the workspace is. And let's call it what I'm going to do here. Then I will choose the context that this workspace should be associated with. Now I will click the OK button and my workspace has been created. Let's close the server manager. We can take a look at the workspace and right now it is empty. So let me grab one of my windshield objects to put into this workspace. To get to it, I'll go to my recently accessed list and I'll choose a CAD model. Then I can go to the actions drop down menu and then add to workspace. And it is automatically grabbing the required dependence, which is what I want. You could use the buttons to grab other related objects like drawings or family table instances and generics, but I'm happy with the required objects. I'm going to uncheck the option to automatically lock all the objects. I don't care about that for this particular action. I click the OK button and now when I go to my workspace, there you can see all the different objects. And I've already set a working directory to a local folder. Right now it is empty, it doesn't have anything in it. So let's export these particular objects to that folder. To do that, you can select multiple objects using the check boxes or you could use the select all rows and then go to the tools export from workspace command. I'm going to show you an alternative method. You could select just one of the objects like the top level object and just do it for that. If I then go to tools and then export from workspace, well, here we're on the basic tab. First thing that we're going to do is set our target directory. I will use the browse button to do that. And you can use it to navigate to whatever folder that you want to use. Let's click the open button to establish that. And here we have an option to reuse the content in the target directory. That means if there's already an object in that folder, that local folder with the same name as one of the objects that I am exporting from the workspace, then it's not going to overwrite it. And then we have the option for dependence required. Well, that's good. You could also change this to all or none. And you could also collect related business objects like drawings. You could change from none to all or initially selected only. And here's the option for selected content. So some of these CAD documents might have secondary content like PDFs associated with them or maybe a step file. You could have those downloaded as well by checking this particular box. If I go to the advanced tab, we'll have much of the same controls that we had on the first tab. So you could select various different objects here and then use this button to collect the related drawings. This button allows you to reuse objects with the same name in the target directory. In other words, don't overwrite them. And you have some other controls from the ribbon to remove objects from the list or exclude objects from the action. Uh, you can explicitly specify something should be included, but that's the gist of the advanced tab in here. So now I can click the OK button. We had the swimming sharks going down in the bottom of the screen. We're back to our workspace. In the message area, it tells me that the export is finished. 17 were exported, zero failed. Let me go to my working directory from the common folders and we can see that it was previously empty, but now it has a list of different CAD documents. And there are a couple other folders that were generated for an errors file. 
and a log file. But that again is how you can export objects from your workspace to your local folders. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.